in this video we'll be looking at how you can capture or detect the logged in users details like the username email address or the profile picture of the logged in users who is logged in because most of the times uh, you need to capture who is doing or who is performing the actions in your fields or in your data source so let's see what are the functions available and what are the properties you can easily access without adding any connector so what you need to do is let's just go to this label i'll just remove this or maybe let's just add another label here go to input or display and label so we have one more label here i'll just hide this label go and visible false go to the text property and type user so this is a function which you need to use and it will return the logged in users details now what it returns is if you hit dot you can see okay these are the properties it returns first is email address so if i hit the email address you can see that this is my email address this is the person who is logged in currently to the app let me choose okay now if I change the property to user dot full name you would see the full name of the user who is logged in so you can add a welcome welcome message for the logged in users using this property or you can display who is logged in and the last one is the profile picture of the user this one image so if to show that you have to add the image control for that let me see insert you go to media and add image and user dot image Now if I run this you can see it this is the logged in user's name and this is the profile picture of the logged in users now this is all it, will, it is getting through your office uh, profile account so that that's how you will be able to capture the details using user function now if you if there is a need to capture the email address or the display of the name of the user in your data while the user is adding the records what you can do is for example here is my tenant registration form and in the title field i need to capture who registered the tenant so what you can do go to the this is my field data card value and you go to the default property go here to the default property here you can say user full name that's it will appear automatically and then maybe you can add a uh, timestamp if you want to capture a unique uh, if you want to record as a unique uh, identifier so you can make it td mmyy that's how you want to or then you can also capture the time as well so that's how you can utilize the user function and you will be able to get the display name, email address and the user profile picture. That's it in this video. I hope this will help you guys. Thank you so much for watching.